What's up, what's up, what's up, Jesse for JP in the house. Anyway, I got a message from one of my subscribers saying why, um, he's saying like another subscriber said that, um, I kind of talk in, um, uh, parables or something like that. Like I want to say something, but I don't say it. And I have another channel like that, but I do not, how can I say, I do not, I haven't put anything up on it. Only one thing about marriages, but. Um, you know, sometimes if you, when you get on type of, um, how can I say this, um, uh, sites like YouTube and stuff where you say things and a lot of people have access to it, access to it and stuff, then, um, you gotta really be careful about what you're saying. And a lot of my messages are just, you know, just trying to help brothers, you know, um, open our eyes and see that, hey, you know, life is... Uh, much bigger than what you think, and you are you think that you're hemped in a small area, but actually you're the hemped in area is much bigger than what you think, and you can break free if you want, but you know since we're all under these governments and stuff it's that'll be pretty hard but anyway, there are a lot of things I do want to come straight out and say. And I might start putting them up on my other channel, it's so MGS three fifty JPN thoughts. And when I do, I'll if I do, I'll let you guys know. But for the most part, you know, those are just my opinions. And actually, um, the lot of things that I want to say, for instance, like I always say I think people should marry um Men and women should marry parent people that look like their parents, and the reason I say that is not so much that I believe it or not, because people can do what they want. But there are there are advantages. Okay, like for instance, um, the main thing is it'll get rid of racism. You know, it'll shut up a lot of these racist people's mouths because they say something about us. But then if you tell them that they should marry a person who looked like their mother when their mother was young, then if they are interested in other women that are not of the same culture or something that the one that they're like, then they get offended, you know, then they get offended and stuff like that. So I, so basically, you know, that's why I said that. Um, but in reality, there are other reasons that's in there, but I just haven't identified them. But for the most part, I'm sorry, I need to wipe my nose instead of doing that. But for the most part, I don't really come straight out and say anything because those are actually just my opinions. And all I want to do is just kind of like open avenues for people to uh, explore if they want to, you know. Because some people, like I've said before in my um, older videos, some people just love their drama and they're not going to give it up. And so for those people, you know... That's fine, you know. But I'm really thinking about that other channel, you know, whether how I should um do it and go about it. But it's it's gonna be really it's really cold. I mean like there I did make some a video and I put it up but then I deleted it and it was about marriages. Um uh, marriages um uh, different um marrying people of other cultures. And basically it was more or less okay, this is a little uh hint. This is more or less like a uh, darker skinned people marrying lighter skinned people, and and it doesn't even matter if you're black. I mean, like I'm dark, you know, and I might, you know, let's say if I married a light skinned black woman, you know, the whole thing is basically what I was saying is you, you know, when you get married to someone, you really have to understand the differences, your physical differences that you have, and the way that nature affects your physical difference and stuff like that. And, of course, we know, the um, I wouldn't say the lighter you are, the, the um, faster you get old and stuff like that, because that doesn't necessarily happen to people of color. But there does come a time when certain people do get a certain age, and they really do, like, really change a lot. And some people don't, and things like that. But I was just focusing on like going to the beach. Like if you want to go out with your girl to the beach and you're dark skinned, or you want to go to 
um, beach with your guy and you um, dark skin it and they're light skin it then you know of course the sun's going to start burning them up and then they want to go but you know because the sun is not re is reacting to you in a positive way then you don't want to go but because that person is sick then you have to go and to me you know it's like hey you know why should I have to go home because I can enjoy the sun I don't want to sit in the house you know because you can't enjoy the sun the way I can you know so I, I'm just like okay we go home you know and take care of yourself and I'll be there later you know and then here comes our argument and the whole thing is why why should you have to settle with um, other people's inabilities or not inabilities but I don't know uh, disadvantages or something like that or with the advantages that are, um, yeah, disadvantages and stuff like that so um, and and I know saying that might cost you know a lot of people to call me racist and stuff like that. But actually, it's not it's not nothing that racist and nothing because I really don't care about all of that stuff. What I do care is about the um, natural um, process of nature and stuff like that. And um, of course, you know things going to happen in nature. You know whatever's going to you know survive with the strongest. You know, and if um, the sun was closer to the earth, then we're all going to die. You know, it doesn't even matter. You know, so. Um, I was just going to make that channel just to um, get rid of a lot of things that were on my mind, you know, and talk about those things and to let people know that, hey, you know, if you really, really, really think about what you're saying and things like that, then you might want to check yourself because in the long run, you know, I mean, it's like I got a friend who... He's uh, dark skinned, you know, and he's from Haitia, but he's, you know, lived most of his life in New York and stuff. And then he uh, came out here and, and, you know, and things were happening and stuff. And anyway, he ended up having a baby by um, this woman, his wife, and a second set of kids. And his baby, he's darker than I am. Okay, and his wife is Japanese, and his baby came out white, and, and it was, I mean, he came out white and looking black, and he has, like, thin lips, and, you know, uh, he kind of look, he's, he's, he's black, but, you know, he doesn't have the full lips and stuff like that, but this kid come up with the full lips and the nose and everything, and, and he's white, you know, and, and maybe when he gets older, he might darken up and stuff like that. But I was just thinking, like, well, I know, I know that guy never even thought about that because his first kiss, they're um, dark, you know, and he would have never thought about that in a million years, you know, and it's just, it's just interesting how people just, and, and you know, there's more to the story, but you know, that's the kind of person I have to ask him for permission. But the whole thing is, you know, people complaining about things and then don't really realize what it is that you want. Now, uh, I don't want to make this long. Gosh, it's already eight minutes. Anyway, you know, that's it. You know, I could go on about some other stuff, but that's okay. But basically, that's the reason why I don't come out and say these things straight out because everyone going to have their own opinions. And for me, what I do is usually I'll say these things when I'm with people. Like, man, one of my friends got into this conversation about some he trying to get somebody to invest in stuff in his business and I was just saying, Well, you know, straight up, you know, what what are you gonna offer this person? And basically, you know, it's just thinking one sided and being really selfish and stuff like that. And when I just came out with the facts, you know, then it was like, Oh well, 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 you know, and I'm like, Well, you don't know what you're talking about, you know. And it was basically about, you know, somebody investing in his business, but then you know, if he becomes stocks and stuff, you know, a stock company and stuff, and then somebody buy out his business, and then he get kicked to the curb and stuff, then what are you going to do? And he's like, oh, it's mine. And I'm like, well, you know, just because you have up in your head, you know, that you want someone to do this and you got your ideas with the money, you have to understand that you don't have money and other people have ideas what they want to do with their money, you know, and what they want in return. And... No matter how you're feeling, you could be as selfish as you want. But if you don't satisfy what they want, then you're you're just going to try to go about go at it by yourself, you know. And and and, and but when it basically it was was I said some really some stuff that was really straight cold stuff. You know, it wasn't um, disrespectful. It was some cold stuff. And I don't necessarily think I need to um, say those types of things on YouTube or anything like that. 
um, because they're not necessarily historical things or anything like that, or they're not going to necessarily, um, how can I say, the things that I, the things that I would straight up say were things that would affect you here and now, and it would make you think about your future and stuff like that, and think about the challenges. But then also, it'll also think it'll make you think about how selfish you really are, and it'll point out, yeah, what kind of person you really are. So, you know, and because I sometimes I do that, I end up not well. I wouldn't necessarily say I end up losing friends or anything, but. You know, sometimes that happens, but you know, like I said, I'm happy and 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 another thing too. You know, a lot of people come out here and visit me. I'm a boring person. You know, I say these things on YouTube and stuff, and it may seem I'm exciting talking to the girls and stuff, and it might. Ah, that's for another video. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'm out. Peace.